everybody, what's going on? This is Charles King, and today we are talking about gear. We're talking about specifically camera bags. The Tenba Access 32 bag is the one we're gonna talk about today. So let's just jump right into it. So I've been using this bag for probably more than a year now. So again, I'm a little bit slow to get some of these gear reviews out, but so I've been using this bag for a little bit more than a year now, and as always, I like to use the bag before I make a review for it, and also I've been slow at getting videos out. Thanks, Pandemic, for allowing me time to get caught up in all my video editing. And also, thank you to my video editor. So let me talk to you about this bag and why I'm using it, why I'm glad I'm using it, and why I like the thing. Number one, it comes in black. This sounds crazy, but I do like pretty much all my gear, both my photography toys as well as my other toys. All that stuff always comes in black. And having this thing be sleek, come in black, look tactical like some of my other lifestyle choices, um, it's just something I like. So I love the way this bag is styled. I love how it looks. I love the design of it. Something I learned while looking up Timber online is they were formerly making bags for the military, hence they have a little bit of a background in doing these tactical style bags. So if you look at the front part of the bag, they even come with molly attachments. So if you're not familiar with what molly attachments are, those are these little loops that are on the front part and on the side part of the bag. What they are used for is in many tactical military ap uh, applications, so you can mount a number of different accessories, either from Tempo or wherever you might find them, Army Surplus, Tactical Store, whatever, you can find these molly attachments attachments and attach them all over the bag to make the bag expandable to suit your needs. Also with that front part of the bag, you can even loosen up the straps and put a tripod on the front of it and there's a little part that you can't see in the camera down here so you can unzip a little hidden compartment and put a tripod on the front of the bag. Also those molly straps on the back are reflective so if you're out at nighttime when light hits it, it will reflect back for your safety in case you want to be seen you know, when you're out creeping around with camera equipment in the dark. If you're like me and other people who do vlogging or filming on the go, you can also put your Joby Gorilla Pod switch pod on the side compartment um, where you normally would put the water bottle. So another thing the bag comes with is a waist strap. So if that bag is weighted down, this is the 32 liter bag, so it can get heavy if you have everything in there from laptop to camera equipment, it can get heavy. So the waist strap makes it so all the weight isn't on your shoulders, which makes it much, much more comfortable. Now, with that being said, if you're like me, you take the waist strap off when you first get it because you like how cool it looks without the waist strap. And I'm admittedly guilty of that. In my defense, I normally carry this bag from my car or parking garage directly to the shoot location, and I'm not often like, wearing it for the entire day so I'm not having to deal with that type of weight if I were keeping that much weight on me at all times I probably would consider using the waist strap but for now I just take it off and I do appreciate the fact that Tenba designed the bag so you can remove the waist strap if you're not using it another fun fact I figured out look another fun fact I found while another fun fact I found a lot of F's there another fun fact I found while looking them up online is the reason why they call this bag the access 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 bag is because is because it's designed to spin on its axis so you can easily um access not access access the camera from the side compartments or the top compartment oh i'm glad i made it through that part a lot of words so let's go ahead and start talking about its access. God, there's one more word. So this bag, you can access your equipment via three different compartments. I'm not talking about the front compartment. That's, that's, that's accessories. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about main camera equipment. So you can access this from the top of the camera bag, the side of the camera bag, and the main compartment. So when I first got this bag and started using it, I was keeping a camera in the top compartment, and that was fine. But what I discovered is I'd rather keep my camera at the bottom part, use the side access compartment, and then wall off the top compartment and use that specifically for uh, my accessories so for example if I was switching between the 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 I could just keep them all just right there on that top lens because I'm only changing between two lenses but what you most commonly see me use is I keep my audio equipment or uh, my hard drives or something like that in that top compartment and that way I can just open that if I need it, just that piece of equipment. I keep all my lenses and things like that in the other compartments. I know a lot of you might think, when would I ever use a side access? And that's how I was at first when I got the bag. I just didn't use it because my muscle memory wasn't thinking, oh, let me access my camera from right there. But when that time comes when you have your camera bag like in like a weird position, like in between seats in an auditorium or in the car or something like that, having that little access point is very handy if you just wanna get your camera out really, really quickly. Who almost say access a 
lot during this video. This bag is also very comfortable for a lot of different body types as you can adjust the shoulder strap height using a card and a Velcro system that Timba has incorporated with this bag. They even made it so you don't lose the card as it stays attached to the bag because people like me would probably lose that card and that feature would be lost to us. But they made it so it's attached, it works out really nicely. Also speaking of comfort, they designed the front mesh of the bag so it's both breathable and perforated so air can flow in and out so it's not getting all hot, sweaty, and funky on those hot days because that's just not cool. That's not sexy. That's just not how you want to be if you're doing a wedding or event. So while we're looking at the front of the bag, I'm going to say it again. The waist strap is removable and I do appreciate that. I love it when they make a camera bag or any type of bag where you can remove the waist strap because in many cases, if I'm not using it all the time, I'd rather for it just not to be there just because I hate stuff dangling off of me. And they've made this bag so the waist strap comes right off really, really easy. So I saw this on the website. I figure it's worthwhile saying they made the exterior of the bag with a hydro phobic TPU fabric, which allows the bag to be very protected in the elements. But also they include a rain cover with this bag, which I think is great. Many other bags I have for hiking specifically, you have to pay extra for a rain cover. They included it with the bag. So thanks Timba. So let's talk about the inside of the bag. They have both a front compartment as well as a main compartment. The main compartment is where you keep your camera equipment. And with this bag, you can have a bunch of different lenses and cameras and you can figure it to your heart's uh, content. There's a full spec sheet on Timba's website. However, if you mix and match, you can really do some crazy stuff with loading this bag. Trust me, I know, I've done it. I'm talking about put your drone in there, put your switch pod inside, have your cameras, maybe put some clothes. Like you can configure the inside of that main compartment in a bunch of different ways. And it also has a spot for your laptop to fit in there. And I know my 15 inch laptop fits in there with plenty of room. I can put my laptop and my iPad Pro in that uh, laptop sleep, which is in the main compartment. Switching around to the back of the bag is the accessory or the front compartment, which is where you can put like loose papers, cell phone, business cards, pens, ac uh, accessories, which is why it's called the accessory part, um, stuff like that. I don't really recommend putting your laptop or iPad in that compartment just because it's not padded on the outside. So if you or your assistant threw the bag, again, if you, myself, threw the bag because you've got your laptops on the front of it, you're gonna be like, no, no, which is why I say don't put your laptop or iPad in the front compartment put it in the main compartment where it's designed to be. So all in all, after using this bag for more than a year, I like it. I can say there's no real issues with it. I haven't been able to break it. And that says a lot right there. The only thing I will mention, and this is not any design flaw against Timba. This is just how it is when you can access the entire main compartment. I normally keep the zippers at 12 o'clock. Because the main compartment is fully accessible from the top to the bottom, if you have it like that, imagine the bag pulling like this. So the smart thing to do is always to put your zippers at the bottom when you're closing the bag, because that makes it so the bag stays shut. That's just a user thing. Again, it's not a design thing. It's just something that as a user, you just need to think common sense. Don't put your zippers up there because the bag could you know, try to open itself. But aside from that, this bag is perfect. I like it and um, I look forward to doing more of it. This bag, it actually comes in three sizes. This is the biggest one. This is 32 liters, but they actually make a really, really small one, which I might consider for when I'm just running around the city with just my laptop and like a small vlogging setups because I don't need all of that. But anyway, this is my, my video about the Timba Access 32 liter. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch the next video and I'll try to do more of these. Thanks so much. See ya.